everyone, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have just a quick little project um, for you. I still have my Inktense pencils out and I wanted to do another project on, with that. But I'm gonna share with you what I've been doing besides that this week. I, My husband and I are south um, for a few months just to get out of the Minnesota w winter. And I joined a quilt club and I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting hooked and I, I've been resistant to, to try this because I know I know me and I'm gonna go just gung-ho and I'm not gonna get anything else done and I've got you know other sewing that I have to do. But I wanted to share, I took my first sew, my first quilting class and it was on the, it's called the Four Patch Posy. If any of you have done this quilt, um, just comment down below so I'm just having so much fun so I took one three-hour class and then next week we have another three-hour class as, as well and so this first class we mainly just um, did our just our cut our cutting and I'll show you where my fabric and how far I've got um, and again this is called the four patch posy and this is my fabric I just I love the a kind of a daisy I love the the mustard yellow and it's got a little bit of pink in it and this fun green um so this is my fabric i chose and the only thing is that they told us is it had to have at least a 12 inch repeat and so i you know just looking at this or close to a 12 inch re repeat and i think this one was was almost like 11 inches so let's say this is this is the flower and then this is the next one so it's just just about I would say close to 12 inches between for my repeat. And then the trick with this is to have your layers really line up exactly for the cutting. Um, and then you actually I'll show you what my, I've got a few of my squares complete. Um, and it, 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 it's a four patch. So each one of my little squares, I think were three and a half inches before I sewed them. But it is so amazing what you can get out of these um, just by laying them a different direction. They almost have, to me, a kaleidoscope look in the center. Each one, each one is a little bit different. Um, and then it'll have the sashing around. I think I'm going to go with this kind of grayish green for the sashing and we'll see see what happens but so far this was just so much fun for me i'm at two and i love how the some of the greenery got in the center versus some of them where a big cluster of the flowers got in the center and i just think that it's just going to be so cool laid out as uh, as a quilt so i'm hooked um and that's all you're probably going to see from me but <laughs> um, we'll see I, I like I said next I think this next session we're going to be working on the sashing and um, then I'll I'll share um, I hope you enjoy this little project with me but let's get started I think this week what I really want like I said I still have my my um, Durant pencils out and I want to do some more just coloring and stitching and um, I'm thinking about doing a little flower flower design and let's get started on that project. I'm going to be doing this whimsical flower design and I have this as a free template for you and I on my website and I'll link that down below for you if anybody else wants to do this little project. I got a couple of cute little things in Happy Mail that I'm going to add. I thought this crocheted edging would make a cute grass and then that word bloom is stamped. I have a lightweight, it's similar to a canvas, it's a cotton, and then I'm going to be using a warm and natural batting on the back of it. I'm tracing my design using this sulky, which is a water soluble stabilizer, and it's clear so I can see through it. I'm just going to trace this. Now, I someone commented that you can run um, sulky through your printer just by attaching it with like washi tape or some kind of tape on a piece of copy paper. I don't have a very good printer here. I just have a travel printer, but I would certainly give that a try instead of tracing out onto Salvi. 
Once my design is traced, I'm just going to attach it onto my piece. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch it using free motion stitching. I'm using a brown all-purpose thread. Now I have my darner foot on or my free motion foot on. My feed dogs are dropped and I'm just going to outline stitch this. I'm just going to fill in this little um, top of this flower with just little circles. Really an easy design. I hope you give it a, a, a try. Like I said, I do have it as a free template. I think it would be cute on an apron or there's a lot of dis di different possibilities for this. This is just going to be on a piece of, of stitched art. I'm not going to put it on fabric at all or excuse me, on, on something that's going to be washed. Just do those little doodles on the stem. I just thought that'd be kind of cute for this whimsical project. Now I've already taken off the big pieces of this sulky, and then I'm just spraying it. It is water soluble, so it is going to just come up on this. I have this old dish towel. You can also use like a paper towel for this, and just to peels off all that extra or that residue. Just did it a couple times. And then my design is on my piece and I didn't have to do any kind of other tracing or anything like that. It's just a really easy way to get my design onto my fabric. I'm using my Ink Tents by Durant here, these pencils, and I'm using my Olive Vera um, gel again. Just had a little bit of it on that little plate. I also have a, some um, water that I'm going to be washing my brush out between colors. Putting some brown in that um, center, using two different colors of yellow or kind of a uh, oh, mustard color. And then I also have chosen a purple that I'm going to be adding to these two. Now picking up a little bit of that gel, I'm just activating these ink tents. This is so much fun. I, I really love using this gel because it doesn't, it's just easier to control. It doesn't seep into the fibers as much. Um, someone did mention that it is not washable. So you might wanna do some, some testing on that. And also, I don't know if ink tense, maybe some of you would know whether it's um, light fast as far as if it's hanging on your wall in the sunlight, whether it fades or, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really tested it for that. I have washed, um, you, when I, once it's activated with fabric medium, it, and it is washable. I do heat set. It's just a real fun way to add. It's just um, very um, intense. Um, intense color. It's just really fun to just to add color to your um, stitched pieces. Added some purple on those little swirls. And then it's going to go in with a little bit of green for the stem. Now once my piece is done, I do heat set. I'll wait for it to completely dry and then just take my iron over it. Um, I usually will use a press cloth for that. And once that's all done, I'm just gonna add the, these two little cute things. I'm gonna just stitch those on. And that's all done and I have a piece of navy blue mat board and I'm going to just attach attach this using my fabric fusion glue I'm just putting a little just a little um, few dots all the way around this mat board I got from a framer you just had a bunch of scraps so check it out if you ever want to do projects like this it's just a fun way to display your stitched art really quick and easy and I am going to just um, stick this on top and hope I don't get glue everywhere and then just press it down I 
I have these little hangers that I that I purchased that I include with um, these little stitched art they just you can they have like a little piece of foam and you can just take that and, and stick them on the back or else you can put them on a frame this one's I just put or on an easel this one I just put on an easel it's a cute way to um, display it I do sell these in my little summer shop and they're just kind of a fun little stitched art I hope you enjoyed this everybody hope you have a chance to give it a try bye for now